We are at Camp Roberts in Central California at GIFEX, where founders go to rapidly advance their products. The Pentagon sponsors Naval Postgraduate School to run this critical event. I'm Adam Wormuth, founder and CEO of Chariot Defense. Chariot Defense building expeditionary power solutions for the battlefield. So we're really filling the capability gap for squad level units to be able to deploy forward and power all of the systems that you need to fight and survive in the modern battlefield. That's really informed by my experience both in the eVTOL industry at companies like Uber Elevate, Kitty Hawk, and Archer, and then addressing the problems that I face as a counter US program manager at Anderil, fielding those systems in an expeditionary environment. That's the great thing about an event like the MPS GIFX event, is that's austere by design. It lets us get out here in the dirt, lets us collaborate with other experimenters. You know, companies like Anderil we're powering here, uh, companies like Firestorm, we're gonna be powering their expeditionary manufacturing solution, we're powering an expeditionary uh, high energy laser for counter UAS. So those kind of partnerships, the ability to do those kind of tests on a range like this in an austere expeditionary environment is really invaluable for a startup like us. I'm Brandon Newell. I'm the founder and president of DCI Next. We have a collaborative research and development agreement with Naval Postgraduate School for capturing warfighter feedback um, around research and development projects. One of my favorite things from this GIFX is, you know, seeing the collaboration between companies. You know, it's a low pressure environment for them to get out in the field together, even if they've had no interactions before. And then they're able to experiment. And they're able to take chances. They're able to, you know, bring multiple capabilities together in what we call an advanced capability. I'm Josh Geigel, founder CEO here at Gambit. So I'm a mechanical engineer, but I spent my career up until Gambit building rocket engines, spacecraft, hyperloops, and power cycles. So what does that mean? Is that we're learning how people currently use unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, or ground vehicles to train our system so that we can actually deploy those across large amounts of robots in, in the fields. Imagine having your best operators, right? Being able to be scaled overnight across the world to as many platforms as you possibly can imagine. Eddie Modern, I'm with DCI Next. I spent 11 years at General Dynamics Robotic Systems developing autonomous systems for the warfighter. I left there and went to robotic research where I continued that mission to make sure that our men and women in uniform had the highest quality robotic systems and that they were able to do their mission, removing them from harm's way in the dull, dirty, and dangerous. Hi, I'm Bill Buell and I'm the VP of Hardware at Firestorm Labs. This is the first time that we brought our product to this real field location. So GIFX is an experimenter's event. We met this company called Chariot a few weeks ago. They were on the list uh, for GIFX and they reached out to us and said, hey, you guys have something that needs power. We are a company that makes things that provide power. And it just happens that we're in the market for a solution similar to what they provide. So they basically said, hey, we're willing to have our team play in the sandbox with you. I'm Michael Lefren Boaz, uh, CEO and founder of Aurelia Systems. And we think the best way to actually deploy directed energy is in very small scale, very cheap systems. So you can get point defense on every single uh, truck, tank, even drone. All that is extremely important for us to do the iterative development with government stakeholders. You know, we have an idea of what the system might be, um, but really iteratively developing this and coming to GFX very, very often is very important for us to be able to make sure that we're not, we're not building product blindly. We've been in contact with Cherry Defense, but having a place where we can come together and actually do some R&D demonstrations, especially our first R&D demonstrations, has been really, really important. Yeah, you know, we see that iteration speed uh, with these modern startups as being one of those key differentiating factors of, of you know, what are, what's our right to play here, right, in this in this space, right? What's our right to play against the big primes? And, and that really comes down to speed, comes down to iteration, it comes down to willingness to take risks, comes down to willingness to try new things. That's around building a culture in our defense industrial base on let's test it, let's iterate it, let's, let's learn from it, and let's field that next system faster than the enemy can. We need to innovate, and that's what GIFX is, allowing collaboration to happen in a controlled environment. It's innovation at its very best.